Some things we notice about Jordan Taylor's style, also known as Taylor Cut Films, is a very orange and teal color grade, but a bit more on the yellow and gold tones than someone like Sam Calder, who has almost a red and teal color grade. But the photos we're going to be looking at today is the desaturated orange and teal, the bronze and the gold coloring that I really, really like. It's not the classic orange and teal color grade that he's very well known for, but I really like it when he desaturates his image and gets a very awesome bronze and gold skin tone, which he's been using a lot in his latest videos and photography. I believe he uses the 1DX and he shoots a pretty wide range of subjects from landscape to fashion to portraits. He's mostly known for his short tailor cut films rather than his photography so make sure you go check out his youtube channel and he also likes to use a lot of photoshop on instagram to create a dreamy artificial reality sometimes but i'm gonna go over how i go about getting a very bronze golden look to my images and skin tones which have been inspired by images such as these and he especially has been using these color grades in his most recent fashion week film and maverick pro film right Let's get into Lightroom and see what we can do. On this one, we're just going to worry about skin tone, so getting that goldish bronze look and not worry about the other colors such as the greens and the blues yet. And then we're going to make this one into a LUT and then put it onto another image that has more greens and more blues and then we will adjust it and then go from there. So let's work on this one and let's bring up the warmth by a lot then exposure contrast a lot highlights up a little shadows up a little whites down blacks down so we've got to desaturate it a lot so we have an all right looking color at the moment it's just that it's in the highlights it's in the shadows and it just looks like a filter is just placed right on top of it so let's go down to split toning and add a lot of blue in the highlights and the shadows and what that will do is just cool off the blacks and then just cool off the highlights and it will leave the midtones with some nice colors so we are now onto our curve And that looks about right so we're on to colors now and we are only worried about the skin tone so let's bring the yellow down to about there leave saturation alone uh, we will bring orange down a little and that's about it that's it, it for this image we're gonna put this into a LUT don't have exposure checked and now let's try this LUT on some other images that have more greens and more blues so we can adjust it and make it a little better so if we look at if we look at one of his recent uh, DJI Mavic Pro videos his greens are very very warm so they're very orange and let's see if we can do something similar apply our LUT and it already looks pretty good we have a pretty similar warmth to the greens but I think we could do a little better so let's move the greens of the hue and let's bring up the luminance of those greens and then just 
expose the image. And we get something pretty similar. If we tweak that a bit more, I'm sure we would be able to get something very, very similar. And so that's our, that's those greens. And if you look at one of his films, the jungle film, he uses greens that are pretty, pretty natural looking. So if you wanted that particular look, you would be able to just bring your greens back up and you would get something pretty similar to that but we don't want that so let's reset everything So we're going to keep it much like his most recent video from the DJI Mavic with really warm greens. So now that we've adjusted the greens, I'm going to make another preset. And let's see how it looks on some other images. So let's do this one. Let's see if we can create something similar to this. And Let's choose this one and applying the LUT. Where's our LUT? That had the first LUT on it. Our second one. And as you can see, the colors aren't too bad. The colors are pretty similar with minimal adjusting. Really rich yellows, really pale soft blues and it looks really good so let's try it on some others so here's an image from one of his latest films as well from fashion week in paris i think it was so let's see what we can do with our LUT on this one so let's choose this image apply our LUT and this image needs a lot of dehazing. Dehaze. And expose it right. So it's looking okay. We could definitely, by just exposing it right, get a pretty good color grade. And messing with the luminance but as you can see it works pretty well with that kind of shot and let's try some others so let's apply a lot and let's compare it to something like that so I think Without any retouching, they already look very similar. And, oops. Let's go with, back to this one. Very similar. And here's another shot. Very bronze, a bronze warm cast to the image with the blues still there, so. I think they're looking pretty similar. Here's another reference image. And let's try let's try chucking it on just some other images. It's one with a lot of greens. Looks pretty good. Try just a few more. So 
So as you can see, we really get that nice warm cast of the image while still getting the blues and all that and really nice skin tones, very similar to what Taylor Cut Films has been putting out recently. So yeah, I really like this warm Im image, it works on very, a very wide range of images, looks great straight away. Try it. sunset at the beach. Let's see how it looks. Very similar colors straight off. Here is a hero shot from one of his films, and if we apply our LUT and expose it, it's still not quite the same. So if we come down, desaturate it a bit. getting close but if we come down to split toning again and then go to 83 now we get a very similar grade to what he had in that film so you could go ahead and save this as another LUT A lot of people will be looking to use this LUT as a video LUT, so it's easy enough to convert a Lightroom LUT into a Cube video LUT. And otherwise that's about it, so thanks for watching, like and comment below for more video ideas. And if you're looking to get a better color grade than this and want a whole package of LUTs, then I highly recommend going and buying them as they are available for sale and all the links you need to Jordan's content will be in the description and catch you next one.